This was one of the leading 19th century resorts. It was founded as a vacation place in 1851. It was a leading spa resort. People would come and get healed of all their isms. That flourished until 1911 when the mountain house that took care of everyone burnt down to the ground. I just think that's a great story. The place was forgotten and abandoned for 20 years, but the spring water that people enjoyed was starting to be bottled and sold all up and down the East Coast. And that's how our family came into the picture. Our grandfather was able to buy the contract to distribute the water in Philadelphia. The owners of the spring were heavily in debt. The property was about to be foreclosed. He was going to lose access to the spring to his customers. So he quickly gathered enough financial backing from some of his friends to buy the spring outright when it went up for public auction over on our courthouse steps in Romney. And he was the highest and best bidder on July 9, 1932. He kind of had a spiritual awakening that there must be a, a mission in my life and it must be to get this water everyone. He's still not interested in the resort. And his friends started coming here on vacation. They loved it so much they told their friends. 80 years later the water faded in the background and it's now a, a treasured vacation place. A lot of people come and just think I'm here with my family on vacation and maybe aren't aware of literally the deeper underrunnings of the place. Everywhere you can think of water from the fountains, the spring-fed swimming pool, it goes into the kitchens, all the food is prepared with the spring water. The spring literally flows through the entire resort. <laughs>